Jesus, she said, don't you ever write any happy poems? Of course I do, I said. Like the one about the birds who came down from their adamant skyscrapers and pecked the old monk down to his bones. <laughs> he allowed this so he could be free to slip down in Nirvana through the narrow bars guarding the gutters. It was liberation through des predetermined, destined. Uh, all right. It was liberation through determined destruction. Awareness could not be had without pain. Some sadistic wise-ass bullet once said. The sons of bitches reign for a reason, to make good folks out of the rest of us. Could this be true? The jawbone of the old monk lingered for a brief moment and said mud and spit out a tooth. Which is to say, expose your bones to the sublime, petrify and of rock, sit in the dirt and do not whine. Avoid groping around blindly for untreatments and further burdens, for moss is enough. Offer no anger to the desirous clamberers. Ask no apology of the sky for its relentless hail and lightning bolts. Provide shelter to crawling things, but do not become a temple. And surrender to time only through the slow, steady erosion of the boots that tread on you, eventually to crack loose and succumb to gravity for a fun tumble down the mountainside to let your sound resonate when you strike bottom, shattering to pieces, ringing and bugger all the rest. And with that, the old monk's jawbone skittered down into the darkness, sounding like laughing, and the birds dozed up high, stupidly content with their bloated bellies full of nothing. I thought that was half.